isometric drawing 5. Given the elevation and plan of this block of timber that's cut in the shape of a semicircle. The plan is look at, looking directly down on it and it's in the shape of a rectangle. Front of it is a semicircle. We're going to get the isometric view over here, which will look like that there. To get that drawn, we, the circle has to be drawn full size. And we want to divide the circumference into equal distances. So we divide it up with at 30 degrees. And that gets a point on the curve there and then draw vert vertically back down from that point. And then again from the center up at 60 degrees and bring that point back down vertically to get the point on the diameter. So we have one, two, three, four points on the diameter. Now we need to get those spaces marked off on this line here. So Again, take a piece of paper and mark the positions of these lines and the center point there and transfer the points now onto the drawing. Mark your center point there. And then draw vertical lines through those points. Just project the lines up vertically and now take the height of each of those lines. So set the compass from the bottom here to the point on the circle and mark it there and there. Take the next height and you have two positions again to mark it on here and then the full height of the circle and mark it on the middle one here. And that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points on the curve. And now it's a freehand curve, just draw through those points. A smooth curve. And just line that in. And that gets the front surface of this piece of timber done. Now to add thickness to it. The, the thickness of the piece is the thickness of the plan. So if I measure that, it measures 22. So if I measure back 22 on this line, that's one point on the back curve. Draw back from each of the points that you found on the front circle here. There's two on that top one there, and then the very bottom one. Set the compass to the length now, 22, that length there, and step it off on each of the lines you've just drawn. Now there's two points on this line. That point and that point's on the one line, so that point's the back one, and then the back one is there. So there it's confusing that, but that's the way it works out there in this drawing. And now we have the seven points found again at the back, and again it's a case of drawing as a freehand curve through those points. And that's the back curve done there now. Just line it in. Now when you get up to the top here, we have to draw the, a straight line at 30 degrees. A tangent to the curve there. And just finish it out then. And add a bit of colour to it. 
and that's isometric drawing by completion.